Welcome to Firmus Advisory Doing Business in Ghana series. This series provides insights and navigates the journey to setting up in Ghana. Kindly subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification to receive an alert anytime we upload. You can find us at where you get your regular podcast. Hello, welcome to another edition of Ghana Business Now. My name is Adam. I'm joined by Anita. And Koma, head of research at Fermat Advisory. Today will be will be will, will uh, today is the final part of our series on the beverage sector report. Uh, we've from the beginning we've looked at the market size, uh, consumption patterns, and then spend patterns. Uh, on today's edition, we'll focus a bit on the producers and all. Um, what what the popular brands are. So Anita, what's the most popular brand uh, around? <laughs> I don't want someone to come and film <laughs> you, but hey, but yes, of course, there are lots of brands around and a lot of these brands are doing very well. And uh, Ghanaians actually see what is going on. As a matter of fact, when we did ask consumers what are some of the key trends they see in the market, they, one of the key things that they mentioned was that they see a lot of marketing of okay. beverage just going around. So you can see that generally brand visibility for the general market is quite high. But obviously some brands are more popular than the others. So I'm going to take it from two different perspectives. Sure. We'll first look at the non-alcoholic market. When you take the non-alcoholic market, we ask consumers a very simple question. What brand or what non-alcoholic beverage brand comes to mind when you think about beverages? And the top brand was Guinness Malt. Okay. Yes. So that's the popular brand mm. in the minds of consumers. Then for the alcoholic market, it's of course a beer brand since beer is one of, is a favorite among all the alcohol yeah. types. But the very popular one of it is our own very club. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Yeah, a, a bottle of club is always uh, exciting when you are watching a game with. But is this the same uh, across the three different cities? Well, it's similar but not the same. So across the you know, three different cities, we have two of the cities voting for club okay. and then one city voting for Guinness. Ah. I'm going to leave your listeners and your viewers to, to get the which... main report to okay. get the details. Okay. And it's also um, different for the non-alcoholic beverage market as well. But generally, visibility levels in the market, I would say they are quite decent. So when you take the general um, beverage market, you would, I would say that in terms of visibility, for in, a, in very simple terms, if you want to sell to two consumers, yeah. make sure that you are able to reach or at least five potential consumers know about your brand. Okay. That's talking about sorry, talking about visibility, um, which platforms are the companies using to uh, advertise their product, and where do people feel more connected to? Uh, when it mm, comes to those uh, mm, products. Yeah, yeah, that's quite important because we do spend quite a bit yes. on marketing. Well, it would seem that in Ghana, the beverage market, with the beverage market, traditional marketing is actually still dominating okay. the space. So for the most popular platforms that consumers find beverage information or seek information when it comes to beverages, the first one is TV advertisements. Okay. About 65% of consumers resort to TV adverts for their information on beverages. You would also find the likes of um, radio advertisements. Okay. We have about 45% of consumers um, getting beverage information from radios. And one of the key elements of our Ghanaian um, setup is word of mouth. Okay. People really rely on word of mouth or recommendations as a way of getting information about products and you see about 62% of consumers resorting to, to that. that. Um, in line with that we have um, other platforms like billboards, okay. we have online accounting for about 28% of okay. the information so it's picking up but there's still significant room for improvement, especially when you look at the fact that um, a lot of Ghanaians um, rely on word of mouth for their information. Yeah. That has brought in the whole trend of influenza marketing, marketing. within the social media space. Uh, that being said, um, 
is catching on, is giving the online platforms more um, up, um, visibility in terms of beverages and we anticipate that we'll see a lot more going forward. Okay, um, It's always been said that the e-commerce market is going to be the next uh, big thing in Africa. How well is it being used when it comes to the distribution of uh, alcoholic and non-alcoholic products in the market? It is being used all right, but one would think that with the, especially with COVID, during COVID we yeah. saw a lot of global um, beverage companies using e-commerce platforms or other online means to reach their consumers. But that is, uh, is really not the case in Ghana. It's, it's growing, but uh, uh, not at a, as fast a pace as the global trend. Okay. You would find that about 1 to 4% of the distribution is from online okay. platforms where about 70 to 80 percent or the remainder are from um, very traditional or okay. well set up okay. structures like supermarkets, okay. markets, pubs and restaurants and all of that. So there's still some room for growth for online marketing and distribution. But that being said, I would like to say that a lot of the beverage companies are putting the infrastructure the online infrastructure now in order okay. to be able to sell to their consumers online and there is also one big hindrance of cost of delivery being quite okay. high on our part of the world so those are some of the hiccups when it comes to online okay. distribution but we do hope that as economies of skills come in there will be a lot more online distribution of beverages so you mentioned the role of e-commerce has not been uh, not there yet so how do the producers get the product to the final consumer yeah right okay so there are different other traditional means of getting products to final consumer we have the shopping malls which is also trending okay. we have supermarkets we have markets we have um, distribution through direct sales representatives. We also have um, pubs and restaurants and all of that, but for the different categories of beverages, it differs. So when you take the alcoholic beverage market, for example, the best place to reach your consumer is through the pubs and restaurants. Okay. Yes, yeah, about 80% okay. of consumers get their alcoholic beverage products from pubs and restaurants. Okay. Yes. okay. And for the non-alcoholic market, the best place is the supermarkets within the areas. So you could have a distribution truck distributing to different supermarkets within different communities, depending on your target area. Mm -hmm. By the way, you have about 70% of consumers buying from supermarkets in their area. Okay. Thank you very much, mm -hmm. Anita, for joining us for this. Um, to you, Visit our website, uh, famousadvisory.com, and uh, download a copy of the report. Um, we are always available to answer any questions you might have. Just shoot us an email and we'll be happy to ad attend to you. Uh, thank you again, and then we hope to see you again on another episode of Ghana Business Now, where we'll be looking at a, a totally different topic altogether. Thanks again, and uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching today's episode on the Doing Business in Ghana series. Feel free to leave your questions in the comment section and we will respond accordingly. Visit our website www.firmusadvisory.com and see how we can add value to what you do in these areas. Regulatory compliance, market research and trade development. The link to the website is in the description box.